Lillian Gilbreth was a very influential woman. She was an American psychologist, an industrial engineer, and an inventor. With her husband, Frank Gilbreth, she developed industrial management skills that are still used today. The Gilbreths were so devoted to these management skills, they incorporated them to their home life as well. With all of her accomplishments, Lily received many awards and honors. Lillian was born in Oakland, California on May 24, 1878. Lillian did very well in school, however, her parents did not expect her to continue with secondary education. Lillian was not against marriage, but she found herself to be plain and didn't think men would want to marry her. So she persuaded her father to pursue a university education on the condition that she continued her household duties. She attended the University of California at Berkeley, where she received her Bachelor of Arts in Literature in 1900. When she graduated, Lillian became the first woman to give a commencement speech at this university. She completed her Master of Arts in Literature in 1902. She later received her doctorate in psychology from Brown's University in 1915. After successfully completing this education, she decided to travel Europe with a group of women. The chaperone of this group was Minnie Bunker, who introduced Lillian to her cousin, Frank Gilbreth, in Boston on the way to Europe. Lillian and Frank instantly became infatuated with each other, and upon her return, Frank traveled to California to meet her family. The two married on October 9, 1904. Frank himself was not educated, but he owned a bricklaying construction company. He was very interested in efficiency in the workplace. His interest encouraged Lillian to apply herself to scientific management. Lily then changed her major from English to psychology so that when she completed her PhD, she could assist Frank and his company. Frank was interested in the technical aspects of efficiency in the workplace, whereas Lillian was more interested with the human aspects of time management. He was able to recognize that workers became more motivated by indirect incentives including money and direct incentives such as job satisfaction. She was also able to recognize that fatigue and stress affects a person's ability in time management. Their work aided to create job standardization, incentive wage plans, and job simplification. These techniques are still used in the workplace today. Lillian and Frank Gilbreth had 12 children, which made it necessary to find a way of efficiency in their home. Their children were often involved in experiments to create this efficiency. These experiments include analysis of motions to aid in finding quicker and more effective ways to complete household chores, such as washing dishes, brushing teeth, and other tasks. When Frank died of a heart attack in 1924, Lillian was forced to take care of their 12 children on her own. Before Frank died, the couple held workshops in their home to train the managers on their management skills. She continued these workshops after his death so she could have a steady income while taking care of her children. At first, she found it difficult to attract customers due to the fact that she was a woman. However, her success came quickly. Lillian got a second job at Macy's department store in order to fully understand working conditions and the needs of employees. Once her training became popular, Lillian started offering training courses at universities and colleges. She became a full-time professor at Purdue University in 1935. At this point, she became the first woman to be a professor at this engineering school. During the Great Depression, Lillian was asked by President Hoover to address the unemployment issue. She created the Share the Work program and she consulted the government during World War II where she oversaw the old factory's change to support the needs of the war. She also worked with General Electric, where she helped improve the efficiency in the kitchen. She interviewed over 4,000 women to help improve the design of kitchen fixtures, such as the stove and sink, to perfect height for maximum efficiency. Her inventions include the foot pedal trash can and the shelves and refrigerator doors. She also filed patents to improve the electric can opener and wastewater hoses from washing machines. Over the years, Lillian Gilbreth received many awards and honors. In 1921, she became the first woman member of the Society of Industrial Engineers. She also became a member of the American Psychological Association. Lillian Gilbreth became the second member of the American Society of Mechanical Engineers in 1926. In 1965, she was the first woman elected to the National Academy of Engineering. She was also granted the Hoover Award in 1966. During her lifetime, Lillian Gilbreth was a very influential woman. Alongside her husband, she reshaped the workplace efficiency. The Gilbreths were so devoted to time management that they ran their household much like how they were trained project managers to run their companies. Lillian Gilbreth was awarded greatly for all of her accomplishments.